hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man Willis here. And we last night got the reveal of the new Nintendo Switch system. Well, as a lot of people then realized about this system, it's a hybrid system that's portable and it also can hook up to play on your TV. But one thing they didn't say is how powerful this system is. We already know that it's nowhere as powerful as the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 or the Pro or the Scorpion when that comes out, which is usual for Nintendo as always. So still stuck with that motion control mess, which people are really tired of. And also, they are offering online, you gotta pay for it, which is nothing new now because PlayStation and Xbox does the same. But here's the thing they didn't tell you. When you wanna do online chat and everything, you gotta do it through a smart device. So that means you're gonna have to have your phone or a tablet by you all times if you wanna talk to people online and other stuff, which makes no sense whatsoever. That's something that you could have put into the system by itself. So that's a bummer. Also a bummer is if you want another controller, you're gonna have to shell out $110 because you're gonna have to buy two separate parts. You're gonna have to buy the Joy Cons by itself is $80 and the clip that puts the um joysticks together in the middle, that's another twenty to thirty dollars so if you want to play with somebody else it's gonna cost and if you want a pro controller at seventy dollars which is as higher than the standard xbox one or playstation 4 controller and now you can get cheaper versions of those controllers as well that play just as good so that's ridiculous as well so you got breath of the wild coming out which looks cool but the kicker is, if you already have a uh, Wii U, you can buy the same game on that system, and it might end up being the same quality. Since it's on a disc, it might be a little bit better. I don't know how well these cartridges is going to do graphics-wise. But I'm glad that the system does have an upgradable slot for the memory, so... You can get micro SD cards for cheap, so that's a cool addition. But the presentation was very, very clunky and disorganized. You didn't really see any really gameplay. Actually seeing anybody actually playing the system on the stage. You just seen videos of it, so that's very suspicious as well. At least with the other companies, they actually show you people actually playing the game. So, I feel like Nintendo, they still behind the times with their systems. People are tired of gimmicks. They just want to play good games. And from what I've seen, most of the games that they got coming out are ports of stuff that's already on old systems. So, basically, like... Mario Kart is basically the game of the year edition when you get it on the Switch. They got Skyrim coming out, but it's not the HD version of the remake that that remaster that they just brought out. So, Nintendo, you just failing. I don't know what you're going to do. I know the Die Hard fans are excited. The pre orders are going to sell out just like the Wii U did. But by Christmas time, you're going to see the thing in the store all day long. The only saving grace is going to be that new Mario game, hopefully. But a lot of people are already turned off by the last Nintendo system, the Wii U. So they are going to be hesitant. Parents, I don't think they're going to rush out and get it once they find out how much the extra controllers and stuff is going to cost. It's going to really turn people off. And plus the way the system's made... It's not really geared for kids because as soon as you drop that screen, that's the end of that. So they're not right, really telling you how sturdy 
than um the Switch actual tablet is going to be, which is uh, another downfall about trying to bring out this system. They didn't really get on uh, into the hardware specs because a lot of people are interested in that. So I don't know. This is going to be another shaky one for Nintendo. I know I'm going to get a heat, lot of heat from the diehard fans, but oh well, you got to think logically here. This is the world of HD, and y'all still stuck in sort of HD, but not for what's coming up now for 4K and all that. So Nintendo need to step up their game because I feel like this is going to be another Wii U debacle. So this is Wild Man Willis signing off. See you next time.